Well, hello again there, folks. Today we are going to talk about a topic that comes up very often in my discussions with different people around Thailand and around the world. Is dating a transgender gay? There we go. I'm going to throw it out there. We're going to get all the hate mail for this one because there are so many idiots out there that have no clue about sexuality and what it takes to be in a relationship. So let's go and have lunch and then we'll talk about it. Tamarai. Tamarai. <laughs> Kissing the audience, I don't know. Now, you saw a girl like that on the street? You'd never think you were gay if you fancied that. It's about masculinity and femininity and what attracts you, isn't it? Anyway, let's go and have lunch. Okay, honey, so where are we today? What name? Shem. Not Santa House. Shrimp Day Cafe. <laughs> and she loves gung. Shrimp and gung the same thing. But she doesn't know shrimp means gung because they don't I call it shrimp house. in Thailand. Hey? Which way? Where, which way are we going? <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, again, nice little water feature. There we go. Shrimp Day Cafe. There'll be a link down below throughout this way. We've just checked in for the 90 day check in at the Nakhon Panton Migration, and uh, it just means the fact that uh, we get to choose some restaurants out this way for our Wednesday outing. outing? Yeah. Yes, our Wednesday yeah. lunch date. The lunch date. Might the car up? <laughs> where you, oh, excuse me. Where you want to sit? Up Have some here. This one here looks nice. Off the table here. What do you think? This one here? You want to stay here? Mm -hmm. Okay, can stay here. Okay, so let's start out with the, the first issue here was the fact that we're going to have a lot of people coming on and sort of giving their own points of view. Uh, in a short and concise term, uh, right Alan, let's just say it, if you're attracted to transgender women, and that's you know, the feminine shape women, well, no, you're not gay. That's it. And uh, and the second thing I was to say, stop listening to other people. If you are attracted to a, the feminine beauty of a transgender girl, or in Thailand, a lady boy, then seriously, you know, think about it. Why are you attracted to them? Do you like girls? Well, if you like girls, then, you know, then you're going to love the feminine shape and the, the fun and, uh, what do you call it, the uniqueness about a transgender woman. How can you even call that gay? Okay, technically, you know, she was male at one stage in her life and you could say technically she's the gay one because she likes the male form or the male masculine form. But me, I'm totally attracted to the feminine shape and beauty that she possesses. And she's going to play with her hair all afternoon because I've got a bit of wind blowing. <laughs> so, you're gay, I'm not gay. Is that right? Why you say that? Because before you were a boy. Right? Why you think that? And then and then you no, like no, boys. No, no, no. You you don't say me boy. <laughs> yes, I. Yes, I know. But when I born, I born for boy. But when I, when I young, still young, I don't know everything. Yeah, yeah. I everything, lady. My mom to tell yeah. me when I don't know everything. But you like boys. Yes. Yeah. I born boy, yeah, but born, yeah, everything yeah. myself, lady. Yeah. Okay. So you like the masculine shape of a boy with good chest and good muscle and shape and size of a boy right? that's that's it you know no, like no. it's a weird situation we've got here don't, don't thinking know. about but some yeah. people uh, have uh, LGBT for uh, for girlfriend but you're not gay no you're definitely not gay yeah right and again there's this uh, the Kaczynski scale right you know we like to put things into boxes boys like female girls and girls must like female boys right it's such a black and white situation we don't live in a black and white world right and anybody sort of giving you harassment by being attracted to the feminine beauty of a transgender woman right they got the problem not you and this is the problem that we face you get a lot of peer pressure from your social groups and this is where it all goes wrong 
right? Do you need those social groups? Do you need to conform with these social groups that, that demonize uh, your particular preference in a partner? Um, seriously, we've, we've been together now 15 years. We're 18th of January was our 15th year anniversary. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn what anybody says, right? It has got absolutely <laughs> zero impact on me. Say what if you like down the channel there, like you know, I'll just fob you off because really I'm, I'm not talking to you. You, you, buy, you, you, you Neanderthals that have this predisposition to demonize uh, transgender women, and I'm using that term quite seriously. You Neanderthals, right? Basically, you're dying out, and you've got to wake up to the fact that you're dying out. Stop trying to put shit into boxes that doesn't fit. We've got a multifaceted society here in Thailand and around the world. Learn to live and accept differences in people, right? And here's another example of the whole gay issue, right? Uh, uh, where do I start? Um, right. If you look at transgender women, how many, uh, Shania, how many of your friends, uh -huh. your girlfriends, you know, transgender girlfriends, how many of them are with gay boys? How many? How many have gay boyfriends? How many have gay boyfriends? Yeah. Gay boyfriend? Mm. No, see, no, out, of all no. the, out of all the girls yeah. we know here, not a single one of them has a gay boyfriend. Mm -hmm. They have male heterosexual tendency male boyfriends, you know, ones that, you know, do the male thing. They, they, they you know, for want of a better word, they, they open the door for you, they, they take care of you, they, they look after your well-being, they, they do the male thing, right? And quite frankly, not a single, like 15 years I've been dating, or even longer, I think probably twice in my life I've been hit up by a gay guy, but that was early on my piece. But, um, and of course, fr frankly told him no, but uh, just didn't swing that way. But in the 15 years, not a single gay guy, guy has even approached me. There's something about, obviously, me that either scares them off or they realise they don't have a chance because I just don't give the eye to them. That's it. I have no particular feeling or drawn particularly any way, shape or form to the male, the male archetype, the male physical form, the male masculinity of a relationship. It just does not fit. End of story, right? So when are you sort of going on and talking about this gay shit and everything else? Well, I don't know who you're talking to. You're not talking to me. <laughs> I love this girl, and I love girls too. I, I think you know all my girlfriends are great. I wouldn't have it any other way. There's only one that I am intimate with, and that's her. All the others just their friends, and you know people you play around with, hang around with, and have a good conversation with. And this is the thing, you know. I think. There is the, the Neanderthal class of human society seem to evolve their whole social outlook on what they do with their Johnson. Really, and you know, I'm sure they don't get enough, you know? Anyway, we've got food coming, so we'll pick it up. Well, first I'll give you a bit of a snapshot of it. We got some gum. So this one here is what? For me. For, for, for you, oh, this one, you're. Not by right. She's, she's telling me this one is her one. No, for me. Oh, this, this one, one is gong with rice. Yeah, like pet a mai. pet. This one pet. Pet, pet yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine's still coming. But yes, yeah, so it's just really one of those weird situations that, uh, you know, we do contend with, you know, on, a, on an off basis. Um, of course, now I'm uh, doing my whole uh, regular Twitch streaming on, uh, on the Twitch platform. Um, I'm going to have to deal with a whole new you know, crowd of people wow. you know, who don't understand the way the system works. I don't know, darling, what do you say? This one for me. Yeah. And this one for you. Soup. Okay. Soup only. Just for dry it. Make you dry it. Okay. Okay, don't worry. I have... Oh, you can put some spice in the soup, make it yeah, more yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Chocolate. magma sauce, like a salt put. I think I'll wait for my, my food, okay? Okay, a special gift for you. <laughs> Who like to eat and have soup for diet? Darling, on. Yes, I know. You know. 
Yes, I know. <laughs> Actually, here comes mine. He says, try this one. This one's a special, a special style. How special? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the how special? What, what, what's the name this one? ไฟไรเซ่ข้าวผัดรถไฟปูนปูนไฟไรเทรนเยอะอิ่มเซ่ดิสวันอีเดเมนูข้าวไฟรถไฟข้าวผัดข้าวผัดรถไฟข้าว
you know, moving into the feminine, you know, masculine side, you know, the heterosexual sort of sort of side. Okay, you might not be able to, you know, <coughs> increase the gene pool, right? Because they can't have children. That's probably the only negative, you know. All the positives outweigh one negative about the whole situation. And I said it, it just behoves me the fact that I have to sit there and try to explain the world to people. And I've, I've, I've given up, honestly. I'm quite happy to sit there and talk to you on the Discord channel, you know, if you've got any queries, concerns, you know. And generally, every time that somebody's, you know, come to the channel and talked about it, it's really about, comes down to this thing about what other people are thinking. It's your life, you're living your life. Nobody else can live that life for you. And so there, you've got to do the things that, in, that you enjoy not what makes them happy. It's like I'm talking to like, you know, children here sometimes. And, you know, it's, it's about you and what you enjoy, right? I enjoy her company, I enjoy her jokes. She doesn't get half my jokes, but we still, you know, she still enjoys you know, our communication. Um, what else is there? There's, uh, you know, the when you go to a party like that one we did at Bumiga's place, okay, the group of eight transgender girls that we were hanging out with, you know, there's three other little people there. They had no worries about us being there. We were enjoying in the fun. I danced with the girls, and I got some strange look for the boys when I danced with the girls because they knew I was with a transgender. Now, again, it's part of the programming. They don't understand the fact that. I'm attracted to femininity, uh, the beauty and splendor of a female form. Um, what else can I say? Uh, you know, if, if, if they've got body hair, you know, well, that's moving outside the scale for me. Right? Body hair is a masculine thing as far as, well, apart from the hair on the legs, I think, I think just about 95% you know, of the population have hairs on their legs and arms, but I'm talking about body facial hair and, and you know chest hair and things like that <laughs> seriously that's a male thing and I, I am no way attracted to that and I'm pretty sure the guys that are attracted to transgender women also have a similar type of disposition on that <clears throat> it's got to be feminine it's got to have the smooth skin it's got to have all that touch and feel of a feminine presence when you're doing this and how can you call that gay Right? You can touch them, you, you, just simply touching a guy, right? there's a difference, the, the, the textures, feel, the skin is all wrong. It's got nothing that even sort of remotely makes me sexually attracted to them. But, you know, people still think that that's what I do. And I'm going, really? You guys, are, you guys have got no freaking clue. But yeah, uh, it comes down to the fact that stop trying to live your life for everybody else live your life for you it's the only one you've got guys right and if you don't explore and open your horizons open, take off the blinkers see the whole world you are going to have a very sheltered life and you are going to die unhappy end of story anyway enough of my little rant about this one um we'll take a little wander around <laughs> show you the cafe and um we'll close it up okay yeah, so this little restaurant that we're at, uh, well, I suppose you'd call it a cafe, they don't have a big meal, but everything on the, me on the menu is gung, or shrimp, whichever way you look at it. Food was quite good. Quite come, think about come back here again. Have many gung in the river. Oh, they actually make their own gung, they catch yes, their own gung. Farm for gung. Oh, this, this is a, this one this big, gung. This one left, big, this one not. You yeah. say, yeah. big land gung. Oh, the big land gung out yeah, here, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, you probably want to see me, so yeah, she's Your telling me. Family, he make gung and she open and they, cafe gung. And they, they sell gung in, in yeah, Bangkok? Yeah, yeah, and, Oh, well, yeah. there you go, see. So you, you've probably eaten the gung that's come from this farm, who knows. But uh, yeah, so in closing, what well, that uh, meal there, it's only small, we're not all that hungry, but uh, you know, and the main dish and the, and the sides there, 444 baht with the coffee uh, and her drink, which was a soda. I can't really go wrong. Back to our normal pricing there. But uh, we're going to go off and do our little Wednesday routine shopping and everything else like that. Um, because, you know, 
life does go on in the last video and the challenges of shopping and dealing with all the shopping esque exploits um, but what else are we going to do darling are we ready ready to yes, go now yes i'm ready to go now you ready to go now yeah what's this here and you, you take that for later <laughs> A little bit for later. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, peace out, guys. She's going to close out now. See? Mm. Like and share and subscribe. Bye bye. Bye bye. Got to have that. Um, but anyway, uh, we're out of here. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like comments below. You know, if you want to have a you know a piece of me, then <laughs> go for it. That's all right. <laughs> uh, you're the problem, not me. I'm quite happy with my life. Really nice. <laughs> and I, have I know I finished my coffee. Wait, wait, let me mean my coffee. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot my coffee. I hadn't finished my coffee yet. Oh my god. Here's my coffee. <laughs> okay, what the cup? <laughs> yeah, and this place is only about three kilometers from the Nakon Panton immigration. So we might pop out here in another 90 days. That food was great. What? Oh, you... Oh, okay. I just bring this one and she... People, lady, you see, you wait. Tala, what's this one? Tilapia? I don't know. Panin, man? Oh, they're so hungry, darling. Where they hungry? Oh, I saw a, um, a carp in there. Oh, I think they're full now, darling. The things you see in Thailand, it's always great. Mm. Anyway, we're out of here. And we'll catch you next time. I, I want you to